<laughs> good day, good day. How the honk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano. And have I got something for you today? <laughs> yes. This is the continuing series of all the models by one uh, toy brand manufacturer. Yes. So if you haven't checked it out, I I think by this time I've gotten the playlist going. But anyway, check it out. Um, at the end there, we're going to have it. But anyway, we did uh, earlier, we did Matchbox, I think two series. Um one uh, before Mattel, and then the second one was uh, Mattel uh, 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 models, okay? So there was kind of two parts, and that was mainly the 164 scale. Okay, so now this is obviously the larger scale, and let's get into it, all right? Thank you. Hey, first up, while you're watching, give me a big thumbs up. If you could give two, give two, but you got to give just one. And then uh, subscribe. Tell your friends about it, all right? All right, let's get going here. Um, we have, first up, uh, night introduced in 1979, the Range Rover uh, fire engine, this is called. And uh, there it is. Now, this does say Lesney on it, but it's still uh, Matchbox. Um, we'll probably cross over there. But anyway... So this basic model was introduced in 1979. Now they did um, did some other variants and stuff like that. 1979 all the way to 1982. There was a police version. Um, there's this one here was in 82, but it was this casting. So that was the first casting. And I think they, yeah, Super Kings they called them. Super Kings Range Rover. The K64, yep. So that was the first um, large scale. And I think this is like one, oh, what do they call it? 143rd? Yeah, let's call it 143rd scale. <laughs> um, so that was, that was awesome. That was great. So uh, the next one that came out was this one here in 1987. And uh, this was huge too. Now this is also a Super Kings, um, and I got to keep the price tag on there for tax purposes. But <laughs> this is a Matchbox. Uh, let's see, Land Rover 110 Super Kings. Yes, and uh, very very nice. 1987. This only came out in like two variants, two variants at all. Um, the uh, German one, Fr Fr Frankenfurt, and then there is, uh, well, was there another one? I did another video. All these I did videos on, individual videos on. So if you want to check out the playlist, Matchbox playlist, you can check that out. But uh, that, they did not really do much uh, variance on this one. And it, it has a follow me on there, and it flashes as you uh, pedal the car along. But uh, 1987 is when they came out with uh, this one here. So very, very, very nice. Very nice. All right, so the next step was uh, this bugger here. And, uh, man, I wish I could get more of these. These are really cool. Uh, I think I only have this one. I think this is the only one that I have. And uh, there are several different um, variations. This is 1989. And they made uh, a police car one, which is really cool. And it's got an additional um, uh, uh, contraption <laughs> um, thing on top. It, it, it's larger than this, and I think it's metal. And it, and it fits the whole side. You can Google it. Let's take a look at it here on the bottom. So this, again, this is the Super Kings... Uh, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, range, the Super Kings range. And, uh, so this was really cool. This is more of a civilian model. There's a, a nice blue one that they did. And then that police one, which is really awesome because it has the additional, um, uh, uh, fixture on top. So that was 1989. Uh, now that, uh, kind of, I don't know exactly when the Super Kings went away, but uh, that was it for uh, Land Rovers. 
All right, so the next time uh, we saw a Land Rover in something uh, big size was uh, these here. And these were Land Rover collectibles, it was the series it was called, uh, models of yesteryear. And uh, very, very cool. Um, awesome, heavy, heavy, heavy metal, metal die cast uh, bodies, bases. This is the trailer here. Um, 1984, as you see there on the trailer, it says 1984, or 94, excuse me, 1994. Uh, very, very cool. Um, you know, these are, these are pretty uh, readily available. Very nice rubber tires, a lot of uh, stuff going on with them. Uh, you know, really cool. So anyway, they came out with this casting in uh, 1994. Uh, I do have, they, they came out with a later one. Actually, they came out with several of these, but this one here is kind of one of my favorites. A lot of uh, stuff on this. This is just totally awesome. A lot of neat things to bust off of it and stuff like that. Same casting. Same casting, they just added uh, stuff. There is another one that I would love to get a hold of, and it's the uh, Pheasant Valley Hunters thing or whatever. But uh, yeah, that I don't have. It uh, calls for a premium price, but very cool. So 1994 is when that came out. All right. Now, uh, I'm going to include this because it is... Um, Matchbox, but it does go under and you're wondering why I have these dinkies over here. Okay Now they do say dinky on the bottom uh, But this is and it says matchbox too. Let's see if we can read that right there um, Above the price sticker you can see it says matchbox there. Yeah, and uh did I pay $25 for this thing? I don't think, did I really? Wow, that must have been uh, early days when uh, it wasn't so available or something. I can't believe, it. I must have. It's got the price sticker on it. Maybe, I, hopefully I got a bundle deal, you know? <laughs> Frank from America Pickers. Anyway, so this is the Dinky. Uh, obviously it says Dinky, but it also says Matchbox. So uh, the BAMCA, Dot org go over there uh, Bay Area Matchbox Club uh, is where I, I love to go for Matchbox because they have everything so this one came out in 1990 uh, 1989 excuse me 1989 uh, this one here and uh, just trying to see if I could see a date on the on the base here real quick but uh, but yeah so uh, this is you know <laughs> It's a matchbox, even though it's technically uh, the dinky, uh, it's it's a matchbox. So yeah, there you go. Um, once again, a matchbox, uh, acquired dinky, and such and so forth. The uh, okay, so then the last one that I know of, and you know, folks, this is this channel. I, I started this channel so I could learn more about Land Rover diecast, Land Rover everything, anything and everything Land Rover. I want to know about it. I love this stuff. As you could probably tell. Um, so if I'm missing a large scale Land Rover, let me know, man. Um, you know, come on over to Facebook. You know, I point over there to Facebook. Come on over to Facebook, post a picture of it. I would love it in my collection. You know, I, I don't um, have every variant and variation. Uh, I would love to, but you know, the wallet is only so big. But I'd, I uh, would love at least the casting you know an example of that one casting at least like this one so uh this is a 2008 and you know i'm really not sure exactly what size you would call this uh you know it's not quite as big as you know this one here now this is plastic on plastic i did a video on this so go check that out um but the the uh, power scouts adventure system yeah, very, very cool. Um, yeah, this is awesome. So this was, yeah, 2008 is when Matchbox came out with this large scale um, Defender 110, uh, Land Rover Defender. And uh, this is actually 110, you know, so. There you go, that's uh, another um, uh, look at uh, Matchbox. 
the manufacturer Matchbox and the Land Rover models that are available um, to you at, in large scale. Uh, go check out, like I say, go check out. We'll have that playlist in the back. Uh, and uh, yeah, check it out. Once again, if you've got something that I'm missing, I would love to find out. Please correct me, please inform me. This is all about fun and having fun and collecting, and I wanna know about it, all right? All right, well that's it. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. As always, this is your friend Dano saying adios. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rubber day.